Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk to you about using the point slope equation. The point slope equation we have here, y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. You'll use this equation most often when you are answering a problem that starts with something like find the equation of the line. That's when your go to will likely be the point slope equation. You'll need a point and a slope to use the point slope equation. So our point will be some x1, comma y1. Our slope, of course, will be m. You'll plug those three numbers into this equation and you'll be able to get an equation for the line that looks like y equals mx plus b. We'll go ahead and work through a few with you. We've got our point slope equation down here in the corner. Our first one says use the point slope equation to find the equation of the line that goes through the point one comma three and has slope two. So remember we'll need a point and a slope. We have a point and a slope so we can use the point slope equation. Our point here is going to give us our x1 and our y1 to go in the formula. And if we know the slope is 2, then that means we know that m is 2. We'll go ahead and plug those into our formula here. y minus y1 on the left would be y minus 3 in this case, equals m, so m will be 2 here, times the quantity x minus x1. x minus x1 will be x minus 1 because our x1 is 1 here. So on the right side you can see we have our m outside of x minus x1. We'll go ahead and distribute that. So we'll get y minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 2 once we distribute our 2 on the right. And then to get rid of the minus 3 to solve for y we'll just go ahead and add 3 to both sides. And once we do that, we'll get y by itself, so we'll get y equals 2x, negative 2 plus 3 will give us plus 1. So here we can see we have a line with slope 2 and a y-intercept of positive 1, y equals 2x plus 1. Looking at our next one, find the equation of the line, that's definitely telling us our go-to is probably the point-slope equation, through negative 2 comma 7, and 2 comma negative 5. Now you'll notice what we have here is we actually have two points, so we have an x1, y1, and we have an x2, y2. So we don't actually have everything that we need immediately to use the point-slope equation. We definitely have a point, but we don't have a slope. What we can do though, however, is we can use two points and get a slope, right? So remember that slope, if we want to find slope, we can use that m is equal to y2 minus y1, change in y, over x2 minus x1, change in x, and we'll go ahead and just plug these in and get our slope, then we'll be able to use the point-slope equation. So y2 minus y1, that will be negative 5 minus 7 over x2 minus x1, which would be 2 minus negative 2. So on top here we'll get negative 12, and on the bottom, 2 minus negative 2 would be like 2 plus 2, so that'll give us 4. And doing the divide, we'll get negative 3 for our slope. So now we have a point, and now we have a slope, so we can use point-slope equation. So I'll go ahead and use this point here. We could actually use either point we want. I know we labeled this one x1, y1, and this one x2, y2, but as long as we use one of these points, it doesn't matter which one, and the slope we just got of negative 3, we would get the correct answer. Let's go ahead and just use this though. So our m is going to be negative 3 in this case. So y minus y1 would be y minus 7 equal to m, which would be negative 3, times x minus x1, x minus negative 2 in this case. So this is actually like x plus 2 here, right? We'll go ahead and write that down. So y minus 7 is equal to negative 3 times x plus 2. We'll need to distribute on the right side like we did on the last one. So we distribute the negative 3. That'll give us y minus 7 is equal to negative 3x minus 6. And now we'll need to just add our 7 to both sides to get rid of the minus 7. We'll go ahead and write what we get over here. So that'll just give us y on the left side. And then we'll get negative 3x negative 6 plus 7 will give us plus 1 there. Looking at our next one, find the equation of the line through 4 comma 6 and negative 8 comma 2. So a similar thing here, we have two points and not a slope, so we'll need to find the slope first. We have a point, but we don't have slope. So we'll need to find the slope first. We'll call this x1, y1, and x2, y2. Go ahead and use the slope formula 
So our slope for this one, our m, is going to be, remember, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in this case, that will be 2 minus 6 over x2 minus x1 will be negative 8 minus 4. So here we'll get 2 minus 6 is negative 4, and negative 8 minus 4 more will be negative 12. So negative divided by a negative will give us a positive, and 4 over 12 will reduce to 1 over 3 if we divide both parts by 4. So this is our m, right? We get a slope of 1 third that we're going to then use. So now we have our slope, and we can use point slope. So y minus y1 will be y minus 6 equal to the other side, m times x minus x1. So our m is 1 third. x minus x1 will be x minus 4. Go ahead and distribute our 1 third. So we'll get y minus 6 is equal to 1 third x. And then 1 third times negative 4 would be negative 4 over 3. You can think of this as 4 over 1 if that helps you, and just multiply the top and multiply the bottom. So now we'll have to just add our 6, right? So we need to add 6. Now we're going to be adding 6 to negative 4 over 3. So as I add just 6, remember that's going to come across as plus 6 over 1. Right, But when I add it to this negative 4 thirds, I'm really going to need a common denominator when we add fractions. So I really need to make the bottom a 3 to match the other. So I'll multiply the top and bottom by 3 here. Okay, So let's go ahead and write that over here. So I would just have y equals, I would have 1 third x minus the 4 thirds we already had. And then our 6 over 1 actually becomes, when we multiply the top and bottom by 3, 18 over 3. So now that we have the same denominator, we'll just add the tops and keep the bottom. So our 1 third x doesn't change. If I have negative 4 plus 18, that actually gives me 14. And we keep the denominator of 3, and so we get y equals negative 1 third x plus 14 over 3. Let's look at one more with some fraction action in it. We want to find the equation of the line through 5 comma negative 6 and negative 3 comma 4. Again, we have two points and no slope. But we can get a slope because we have two points. So let's go ahead and find our slope. Again, we have a point, but no slope here. So for slope, remember that slope is m equals y2 minus y1, change in y, over x2 minus x1, change in x. So in this instance, y2 minus y1 is 4 minus negative 6. Our x2 minus x1 is negative 3 minus 5. This minus negative on the top is like plus, so 4 plus 6 will give us 10. And then on the bottom, we have negative 3 minus 5 would give us negative 8. So we'll get negative slope here, and then 10 over 8 can be reduced by 2. Dividing by 2 on the top and bottom gives us negative 5 over 4. So that'll be the m that we use. Let's go ahead and use our point slope equation now. y minus y1 would be y minus negative 6 equal to m, which is our negative 5 fourths, times x minus x1, which is x minus 5 in this case. All right, let's go ahead and distribute our negative 5 fourths. Actually, let's go ahead and change this minus negative. Let's just call that y plus 6. I think that's better, right? So here we'll get negative 5 fourths times x. And then if you think of this minus 5 as negative 5 over 1, when we multiply, we'll get positive because we have negative times a negative. 5 times 5 on the top is 25. And then we'll have 4 times 1 on the bottom, which is 4. We have the y plus 6 still over here, so what we'll need to do is subtract 6. Now notice we're subtracting from a fraction here, so we'll actually call this minus 6 over 1 on the other side when we do it on the right side. Let's go ahead and continue over here. So that'll give us y equals negative 5 over 4x plus 25 over 4. And think about what we're going to do here. When we subtract 6 over 1 from 25 over 4, I'll need a common denominator. So I'll multiply the bottom by 4, which means I need to multiply the top by 4 also. And so 6 times 4 on the top is actually going to be 24 over 4. 
instead of minus 6 over 1. So now let's go ahead and just do the subtract. Remember, we'll keep the denominators and we'll only subtract the top of the fraction, the numerators. So we'll get negative 5 fourths x. 25 minus 24 would just be 1, right? So we get plus 1 over 4. So we get 1 fourth as our y-intercept. All right, everyone, hopefully this helps you with find the equation of the line and using your point-slope equation to do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.